obviously there's lots of crystal game, you know, the, the wind made a little difference in the game. I think they probably hit one ball that might have got out of the park or over our center fielder's head. Uh, we probably hit two other balls that would have got out of the park. Um, but that, that's the beauty of baseball. A lot of times you just have to adapt to the elements. And uh, I thought pitching for both teams did a pretty good job and uh, held it down. We did three double plays. One of them was, you know, a freshman mistake, he, no outs, runner at second. And we hit a, you know, a line drive that pretty much everybody knew the second baseman was going to catch it. And he started running. and. You know, we still had some pretty good hitters coming up. And then the other two were just uh, bases loaded double play, give their reliever uh, credit. He came in and threw a breaking ball to Cook, and he promptly grounded in a double play. And uh, they they stayed in the game, and we, we didn't, you know, come through with the big hit here or there. And, uh, you know, it, it was a good ball game. Uh, looking, you know, looking ahead, uh, this type of game is probably what we needed. Um, a little bit of drama, a little tension, you know. Uh, nothing's in the bag going into the ninth inning and kind of get that feeling uh, that, you know, if it, it, could, it could go against us. So uh, overall, I thought it was a great weekend for our team because, you know, we got to play every player that I'm going to play. 17 different hitters hit, and we threw every pitcher that we have. And uh, they got a chance to at least get their feet wet and maybe hopefully get a little bit of the nervousness out. and. Uh, you know, be ready for their next opportunity. The throw Kerstad made for the double play when they had their inning, uh, double play at home plate. Yeah, that was a great play. Just a great play. You know, they're up one to nothing uh, with the runner on third, one out. They had a fly ball, and you know, Kerstad did a good job getting behind the ball. He did everything right with his feet, so when he caught the ball, he was ready to just transfer it to his hand. And had his body right, made a really strong throw, and uh, you know Grant did a nice job of making a tag there. And you know, instead of being down two to nothing, we're down one to nothing. We go in and we tie it up. So uh, defense will win you a lot of games. And I've told this group many a time: if we play defense, we'll be hard to beat. So um, th that was good to see. That review there, were you asking about the review later on with the umpire? No, he was telling me what happened a little bit, and uh, I guess there was a little. Something, you know, our people weren't right there ready to go. Uh, I don't know exactly what it was, and they only had one camera angle at first, and then and they had to call and get somebody to come help them do some things, and luckily they did because uh, the first camera angle didn't look good for us. And then when they saw the other one, they realized, oh, yeah, he tagged him. Grant told me he tagged him, you know, uh, so I believed him, and uh, so, you know, maybe it's just something uh, we got to get right. What did you want to see out of Keaton? Yeah, I didn't didn't see well. What I'd like to have seen him just throw more strikes, and he had been throwing strikes. Um, you know, for some reason today he didn't. You know, he throws three balls, start the game, comes back and gets the hitter. Uh, but we saw that you know a little too much where he couldn't get get out of it. And uh, Keaton's a guy that uh, he throwed. He showed a good curveball today. His changeup was good, but he wasn't locating his curve or his changeup a whole lot. Uh, the fastball, you know, anywhere from probably 85 to 90, which uh, he's been throwing a little better than that. So I don't know. Uh, would would like to see him command the ball a little bit better, but I have a feeling that he'll be a lot better his next time out. And uh, you know, so that that's what we'd like to see is just a little better command. You talked, talked a lot about Jackson Rummage, but to be able to go 96, 78, what kind of weapon is that? For you? Well, it's it's you know he's a uh, he's a big kid that throws downhill. He throws a heavy ball. You know, being able to go up, like you said, up to, I don't know if he went 96, 97 a day, 95 a lot, a lot of 94s. Spotted it up pretty good a few times. Had a couple of pitches we thought that might have been strikes that he didn't get. Uh, dropped his curveball in there a few times through a change up or two. Uh, I mean, it's a big weapon. Um, he's quick to the plate. It's hard to steal on. Uh, he could get be a guy that, uh, you know, we could, we could extend him. We could use him as a closer. And, and you know, right now you kind of saw, you know, we got – like I said, the game was tight. We we closed with someone that had a little bit of uh, experience today, but I wouldn't have a problem closing Rutledge or a couple other kids. You know, Jake gives up the leadoff double. They get the tying run up, then he then he shut him down after that. What did you think of? He did a good job. You know, the first pitch was uh, it looked like a little. It was an off-speed pitch, and he left it in the middle of the plate, and the kid went down and got it. Um, I don't feel like he was sitting on an off-speed pitch first pitch, but uh, obviously he liked it and he hit it hard and. 
Jake didn't get rattled one bit. Just came in there and make a few nice pitches and got a ground ball, third fly ball, and then he got the strikeout. So uh, it was good for him to get that save and for us to get a win. Cole got you kind of an extra run at the end. Yeah, the yeah we needed that. And honestly, when he hit it, I thought the kid would catch it. He drove it pretty good and that wind. And the wind didn't hurt it a whole lot. He had a little left-handed slice on it that kind of cut through the wind where the point where maybe, you know, it didn't, you know, hurt it like he would have if he'd hit it another 20 feet to the right. Um, you know, boy, it was a big run. I mean, two runs compared to one is 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 a huge going into those last couple innings. So that was a big swing for us. You mentioned playing a lot of guys. What was it like to see the freshmen come out and play the way? Yeah, I mean, it, it was good. And uh, obviously, you know, Kerstad played really well and hit some balls hard all weekend. And all the freshman pitchers did well. And even some of the other freshman position players, like Martin had a big day yesterday, didn't play him today. And uh, those guys are going to, you know, work their way in. And whether they're starting every day or platooning, um, you know, they're going to help us. And that's the, the beauty of having a little bit of depth this year and a lot of competition amongst teammates. It, it keeps it keeps it going in there, and uh, but, but the, on the other hand, I really like the attitude of our team, and they were pulling for each other, older guys, and for the younger guys, and vice versa. And uh, you know, if we can develop that type of chemistry and camaraderie, you know, it's going to be a fun season. Now you have your trip to San Diego this week. Uh, what are you looking for out of your players and your team uh, out on the West Coast? Well, I want us to, you know, just to kind of pick it up where we left off here, and that's, you know, swinging the bats and throwing strikes and giving ourselves a chance to win and win, try to win a lot of innings. Now, we're going to be playing teams that uh, we can match up with any of them. Our, our, I don't know if we're as far along as they are just due to, you know, they're all West Coast schools that we play. They're, they're outside year-round. Uh, we're going to be just as talented or more talented. It's just a matter of, you know, we can play well. And, uh, you know, I think it'll be a good trip, win or lose some games, um, just because we're going to get better. We're going to see what it's all about. You know, a little bit of being uncomfortable, you know, hotel room, uh, you know, luggage all over the floor. You know, you know guys are kind of messy. Uh, I mean, I could go on and on. Just It's just not like here. It's on the road. So a little, little bit of traveling and being a little tired from traveling. Um, We'll get we'll get a good taste of it, and that that's why we're doing it. Easter starting Blaine on, on Wednesday. We'll go. Uh, no, not on Wednesday. We'll 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 probably start uh, Murphy if he's if he's feeling real good. Uh, he you know he had some tightness in his back, and uh, we've we've been bringing him along. He kind of hurt it in the fall and got off to a slow start. So we just want to give him as much time as possible, uh, and then we'll probably go with at least uh friday saturday with the two that we went friday saturday and then we'll leave we'll leave sunday open and figure that one out if, Mur if murphy's back he seems to be good he seems to be good so yeah i think he's good grant, call the game too? grant called a lot of the game early and then uh i would say it was probably 50 50 from the middle of the game on coach johnson and, and grant you know much about arizona I just said, uh, you know, they've got four or five of their best hitters back in their lineup. And uh, four, you know, I know their lineup right now is a little left-handed heavy with, uh, you know, three or four or five of their better guys who can swing it from the left side. Um, you know, just we played them last year one game, got to watch them another. So um, as far as pitching, you know, they lost the lefty that beat us last year. He graduated and signed. Um, you know, so I guess we don't know a lot about him, but we know more than we knew about Bucknell. I think on you know, media day you talked about about Murphy. How you felt like he could, you know, be ready for for a good year. Just kind of what, what are your feelings about? Him? Well, he gained a lot of experience last year and the year before. But last year, you know, he he picked us up and pitched a lot of big Tuesday games for us. Pitched to, you know, in the regional and and uh, he, he's confident. He's lefty with with a little bit of savvy, you know, so to speak. And uh, you know, I don't feel like he's scared, and, and that's what we like about him. He throws strikes, he mixes it up, he's not overpowering, uh, but he's just a, a good pitcher. They, they pitched better today, didn't they? They did. Oh, yeah, they pitched They pitched well. You know, the first guy had a little trouble with his uh, with his breaking pitch, but so he just went with the fastball a lot, and we had a lot of balls hard, but right at him, and that's the way the game works, but he didn't walk people. You walk people, you give up big innings. Uh, you know, like I said, uh, I told, like I told the players before, if we field the ball and pitch today, we'll be in good shape. If we don't, we'll be in trouble. That wind's blowing in. It's going to be hard to put together three and four run innings. Um, you know, and then the, the second pitcher is one of their better guys. Um, he had been a weekend guy for him a little bit. Um, 
you know, what I was told that uh, uh, his pitch count was down because he maybe had a little bit of a sore arm or something, and they were trying to build him up. They didn't feel like going into this weekend they wanted to start and they wanted to try to bring, bring him out of the pen. And I think it got to the point where they were in the game. They said, we got to get him in now. And then the last kid that pitched is one of their better guys too, just flipping that breaking ball. Has a lot of success against right-handers. So, uh, yeah, they pitched us a lot better today. You going to take the guys to San Diego Zoo on Thursday? I doubt it. <laughs> they wanted me to ask. You, so. Who did? Uh, I, I was wondering about <laughs> it. They said, well, why don't you ask the David? I said, okay. I'll no. We will, uh, we will get there Tuesday, and we will practice Tuesday night. And uh, we'll take it easy Wednesday and get ready to go play Wednesday night. Anything else? Okay. All right. Okay.